The first issue is pricing inconsistency. For example, when a customer calls sales officer A to purchase 5 kg of beef, A will quote the customer $200. When the same customer calls again later, sales officer B is not on the line. B might quote him at $230. Customers will be confused by this inconsistency in pricing. Prices can be adjusted when a customer complains, however, it will require an extra work to be done which translates to extra costs in the long run. The inconsistency in price may also cause the company to sell at a loss as the sales officer may not be aware of the updated price and will end up selling below cost price. Also, customers will be dissatisfied by the constantly changing price and the company may end up losing that customer which is bad for sales. The increase in customer complaints and the slow response time reflects ineffectiveness in the current business operation. For the solution, Omni should use an ERP system to implement tier pricing. There will be a standard price list within each price group so that outlets under the same brand such as McDonald's and A1 Shop will receive consistent price. As for standalone stores, a general price list should be created based on the customer's payment terms, which is cash or credit. A consistent price will lead to a smoother order taking process, only profitable sales made, and greater customer satisfaction. The second issue is that Omni has a weak credit approval process. For example, if a potential customer would like to apply for a 30-day credit term, the sales officer will ask him to fill out a credit application form and attach his ACWA report. However, if the customer do not provide his ACWA report, the sales officer will inform the AR department and the chances are the AR manager will still be willing to open a credit account for him. This shows that the company do not have a strict credit approval process which may lead to disastrous consequences. Another issue with regards to the credit approval process is that the AI manager will verbally inform the sales officer as and when a particular customer account is overdue. However, because there are no punishments in place for violation of such order and only verbal communication is made with no physical list of customer, the sales officer may forget about it and still accept orders from those customers. The impact of these control issues is that the company is unable to conduct a proper risk assessment procedure due to the lack of documents provided by the customers, and this increases the risk of default payments. And because orders are still taken despite overdue payments, the chances of default payments will also increase. The ineffectiveness of the credit approval and management process increases bad debts and may lead to liquidity issues. This will in turn further affect the effectiveness of business operation. So to address these issues, we will implement an ERP system that mandates submission of credit application form and ACWA report to commence credit approval process. And for the other issue, the system will lock the customer account when payments are overdue and issue a pop-up error message when the sales officer tries to raise a new sales order. These solutions ensure that approved credit customers are truly credit worthy and the sales made are collectible. The fourth issue is that Omni do not utilize Clarity's inventory management system due to the lack of diligence in recording purchase transactions. Hence, the company cannot rely on Clarity to provide it with information regarding the current stock levels. So, for example, when a customer places a huge order, the sales officer will not be able to guarantee the customer that they have enough stocks as he is unable to accurately check the inventory stock level. Despite this, he will still accept the order. However, if there is not enough stocks and they are only able to deliver a certain portion of the order amount, the customer will only be notified the next day during delivery and the customer will most likely be upset. The fifth issue is that the company may not be able to detect theft as it does not keep track of its physical inventory stock movement. For example, if a purchaser bought 1,000 kg of beef yesterday, the warehouse manager only knows that the 1,000 kg is placed in the warehouse. He will not be able to account for the location of every single kg in this 1,000 kg. For the fourth issue, customers will be dissatisfied because they are informed of the lack of stocks late and they may need these goods urgently. There is a risk that Omni might lose this customer. Customers may also share their bad experience with others and this will dampen Omni's reputation. For the fifth issue, such lack of accountability may lead to undetected theft or loss of inventory which leads to a higher COGS due to a lower ending inventory. This will negatively affect Omni's profitability. Should customers decide to leave Omni, it results in a shrinkage of market share and this is a sign of ineffectiveness in its business process. The solution for the fourth issue is for Omni to utilize the inventory management module in an ERP system by hiring an inventory management staff to recall all individual purchase transactions from suppliers. This ensures up-to-date and accurate stock level information of each product to allow sales officers to utilize the system in checking for inventory levels. The solution for the fifth issue is a regular stock reconciliation. The benefits of knowing the stock level at any point of time is that the company will be able to inform customers early when the goods have run out of stock. Moreover, when the stocks are running low, the purchaser can be instructed to purchase more goods. Omni will also be able to detect theft more quickly and carry out an investigation. And this will in turn deter staff from committing theft.
created using Powtoon.